Yo, so quick video today. We have the Columbia 300 Savage, the original one. Um, ball had about three games on it. I threw it on like long oil, everything. Ball just hooked like in my backswing, no matter if it was 50 feet of oil or whatever. Ball was terrible for me. You may be thinking, like, dang, Jay, I don't remember seeing a ball review for that. You're right, because I didn't do it because I wouldn't have had anything nice to say. And I was back when I was, you know, trying to be couth about everything and not just completely trash it. But this ball was terrible. So, <laughs> figure I'll put it to you since it's cracked all the way around. Um, I know a lot of people save their inserts, but I don't throw inserts. So the next best thing is the thumb. Um, I have a ball to drill and... I am out of thumb mold, so I'm going to uh, see if we can pop this out without breaking it. Uh, stay tuned. Alright, so we have the ball on the floor here. You're probably wondering how I'm going to attempt it. Roto hammer pretty much is a, uh, it rotates like a drill. This is a masonry or a concrete bit. But I do have the option to put it on chisel or hammer only mode. See, so it doesn't move, so it just acts like a chisel. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to drill a hole here, a hole here, see if we can just crack it around without blowing up the mold. All right, let's see. piece chipped out. So uh, I don't want to crack the thumb so I'm going to stay away from it. I think I can pop one right here. Okay, I wanted to give you guys a, uh, a different view. See what I'm doing a little bit better. Um, maybe we try to crack this out right here. Let me see if I can make this hole a little bit bigger. Okay, let me switch bits. I do have a chisel bit, um, but it kind of just drives in and gets wedged in there. That's why I'm doing the connect the dot way. So let's put it back to chisel. See if we can get this out. Okay, it's a little bit, of, it's probably still, there we go. Uh, so now I'm going to take the chisel again. I'm going to get a smaller one. Put the small one back on there. As soon as it goes in here, okay. I'm gonna put it back to chisel and try to chisel. A, a, actually, I'm gonna pop a hole right here, try to break this piece off, and see how we can get it out here. Okay. 
Okay. <clears throat> Switch it back. Still good. <clears throat> so now I'm going to take the smaller bit. Oh, here's your. Uh, I see that right there. See your mass bias. <laughs> Super glue really sticks, huh? Okay. Just gotta go a little bit deeper. close. Don't want to rush it now and break it. <laughs> And ta-da! See that? So, all I do is clean this up and I can knock that back into another ball. So I just, want, I just want to give you guys a closer look at this thumb. Look at that. This is a mold. Look, look how clean that is. So. I just gotta take this to the, uh, put some sandpaper to that. 
Okay, just to show you guys. I took it on the, uh, I used my bevel sander, cleaned it up. So I'm going to drill this ball and you'll see me pop this in another ball. Let's survey the damage real quick, see if we can focus. Zoom in a little bit. There we go. And bam, just that simple. Took me all of 10 minutes maybe. Oh. Here's your uh here's your mass bias marker right here. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna drill this ball and hopefully the trash reaction doesn't come over to the new ball. <laughs> Thanks for watching.